9537. 9537. Yeah, the incident here at Gateway is cleared up. The officers escorted the gentleman that assaulted the G4S officer on train 46. So, if train 46 has any issues in a trunk car, let us know. I copy. The incident at Gateway is all clear at 1400. Get beat up, man. Sucks, man. I've been beat up too. At least they're helping you, man. At least they're helping you. Did you see that guy get beat up? Did you see that guy get beat up over there? No. I guess there's a guy. Yeah, he's all bloody, beat up. See that guy get beat up? Did you see the guy get beat up? No. I don't know. He's all bloody. Got a bunch of abrasions. Today's day and age, you know, that's what's happening. You know, there's so much violence happening. So. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're looking or you know, they're just probably, it's just a report probably gathering issue right now. But yeah, I don't know if they've got a suspect or not. Did you guys see this guy get beat up over here? Yeah, that triangle. Uh, uh, yeah. What happened to that? Whoa, is that the bull line? Is that the bull line? I'm not hot on the Shit. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see him get his ass kicked? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what, 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 ha what happened? Whoa! No, all what? I see is two security guys knock him out. That's all I see. Oh, he got beat up by security? The little, the little rent of cops. It's the tri whatever, whatever you want to call it. Right Is that right? The, no, so, okay, so cool. Thanks, right. man. Thanks. What happened, you guys? Oh, he assaulted us, and then he went on the ground and got in handcuffs, sir. That's all. I know supervisors. I'm transporting him to urgent care whenever the police let us go. Do you have any injuries? I do, to my hand, and he also hit me in the face with his bloody hand, and my eyes and my nose. So I'm not sure. I have to go get blood work done now. How's your hand doing? Ah, it's swollen and it hurts. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Was it just you and verse one on one? Ah, yeah. He just. He was uh, rather aggressive, and then he put his middle finger in my face, and he hit me in the face. So, you know. yeah. I carry. I, I used to. Be, I'm currently awaiting trial because I was just current, arrested for assault four and unlawful use of tear gas after I myself was assaulted, and I defended myself. Yes. Um, are you confident that? With today's world, with the politics of today's world, that you're going to be seen as somebody, you know, as uh, as a victim here? No, I don't think I'll be seen as a. Victim. I mean, 
Well, you you say you were assaulted, right? I was, but I mean, I'm not going to take it like that. You have to understand that the circumstances that this is what's going on with this young man currently. Yeah. He's very intoxicated. He's saying he just lost his mother, which I can relate. He's very heartbroken. He's in distress. There's videos all over the place that you yeah. feel confident will be able to defend you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he he touched me first, and according to my rights, I'm allowed to defend myself. Yeah, you know I mean. You can be confident in that. So what do you expect to happen here? I don't know. Hopefully, it looks like they're on the brink to let him go, so hopefully they do that. He's a nice kid. He's just, he lost his mom. Like, that's not an easy thing to deal with. Yeah. You got my hat. You got your hat. Hey, here it goes again. Guys, be safe. I'm gonna get a different perspective. You as well. I've seen you around. Yeah, you use. You, don't you normally have a, a press thing on your backpack? I usually do, but um, being an American, I realized I didn't need one. Welcome home. Yeah, thanks, man. Be safe. Have a good rest of your weekend. Over I'll try. I'll try. Weekend. Week. Yeah, I live. Yeah, I gotta live without fear. See, he's gonna try it again, dude.
You guys see what happened? No, what happened? I don't know. Did you see what happened? I guess there was an uh, incident between the G4S security guard and one of the passengers. But you didn't actually see it? No. I've, I've been waiting for the boss up here and I just overheard him tell the trans police, oh, he hit me. Yeah. He, he assaulted one of us. And you know, for an example, that's just like insulting a TriMet employee. If I, get, if I get on that bus right now and I hit him, I'm going to end up in jail because that's a felony. And he should have gone to jail for hitting those trans security officers. Here oh, you, you think the man who they were talking to got i mean he got on the bus did you see that and he was yelling out uh, uh, he, he got on the train I on the train yet yeah. so you but think he should have went to jail instead of been he, able I to mean, leave that, that, that's a felony sir yeah. how would you like it if i mean if i got on that bus right now and i hit him i yeah. would go to jail dude because that's yeah. on camera yeah they yeah. have cameras on all these buses and they let him walk do you see that be more of like a kind of the narrative today well or you know, i i see you you're know, from Portland. I've seen you well, around I've for been, been years. Around a, while, a while, you know, not to be really, but you know, I've been around a while. You know, these tram employees out here. I mean, it's a safety issue that it's dangerous to get up there and show an operator your cell your cell phone when they're driving the bus. Yeah. It's yeah. very dangerous, and drivers getting beat up and spit on. <laughs> yeah. And then, then then when it says exit out the back door. They go out the front door. I well, mean, it sounds like the security guard might be getting fired. They sent him on his way. They told him to leave. Uh, he was pretty I, upset. Last thing I saw from I, him. And I, I have, I have a cart. Okay. Yeah. Your, this is your cart over here. This is mine. Okay. Yeah. So I know, I know the guys that work at Tramit Customer Service because I've been around a while, I've been riding a long time. I know, I know most of these operators. Right. But you know what? When I get told to go out the back door, yeah. I'm gonna text him and tell him, hey. I got told to go out the back door. Well, just tell the operator, just tell the operator that you need to exit out the front door. I haven't even had any problems after that. I mean, if I turn around and hit that man right now, yeah. Okay, for an example, yeah. And he turns around and hits me back. That's self-defense, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't speak for him, but I'm just telling you that. Yeah. Have you yourself been attacked in Portland recently? Or? I've never ever. I've been assaulted a couple times. In Portland? Once, or? Well, once was by a black girl, but God forbid if I ever see her up here, she will go to jail because she's got interfering with public transportation. And, you know, you look at some of these now you're employees around here that have been assaulted. Have you thought, have you, do you, do you see more violence today than there was like maybe you know, five I, years ago? No, not like five years ago, but you know, like, like for an example, Pamela Thompson, she's a Trump employee and somebody beat her up over a 50 cent fare. Oh yeah. Well, wow. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get on that bus and I'm, I'm going to beat him up for a 50 cent fare. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm going to say, okay. I'll put the 50 cents in the in the fur box. No problem. Right. And be on my way. Right. So they can roll and I can be on my way. But you look at some of these permit cookies and they've been spit on. I understand. And, and attacked by my passengers on the bus. Totally, they're getting I know, I know. Be safe. You I'll do. see you around. Yep.
So what happened, you guys? Oh, he assaulted us, and then he went on the ground and got a handcuff, sir. Are you confident that with today's world, with the politics of today's world, that you're going to be seen as somebody, you know, as a, as a victim here? No, I don't think I'll be seen as a victim. I mean... Well, you, you say you were assaulted, right? I was, but I mean, I'm not going to take it like that. You have to understand that the circumstances that this is what's going on with this young man currently. Yeah. He's very intoxicated. He's saying he just lost his mother. I can relate. He's very heartbroken. He's in distress. There's videos all over the place that you yeah. feel confident will be able to defend you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he, he touched me first, and according to my rights, I'm allowed to defend myself. You, yeah, I mean? you can be confident in that. So what do you expect to happen here? I don't know. Hopefully, it looks like they're on the brink to let him go, so hopefully they do that. He's a nice kid. He's just... He lost his mom. Like, that's not an easy thing to deal with. Yeah. You got my hat! Guys, be safe. I'm gonna get a different perspective. Well, I've seen you around. Yeah, you, used, you don't you normally have a, a press thing on your backpack? I usually do, but um, being an American, I realized I didn't need one. Welcome home. Yeah, thanks, man. Be safe. Have a good rest of your weekend. Over I'll try. I'll try. Weekend. Week. Yeah, live, yeah, I gotta live without fear, man. Mind if I ask you why you didn't press charges? They didn't ask me if I wanted to. All right, thank you very much.
I'm just wondering about what I just saw, witnessed. Sergeant, Sheriff, you have no more budget to speak to me?